Hey, thank you for joining me today in our first Fusion Training video entitled Fusion Training Videos. Uh, we're going to try and keep it short and sweet. Uh, we'd like to keep it to the point. Um, so today we're going to be talking about our Fusion GPS. Uh, this is a brand new feature within Fusion that we're going to try and um, explain to you here today. And go through it and hopefully after we're finished here we'll answer a few questions that I've been asked and then uh, go over um, the next step in in this GPS endeavor. So the overview of this uh, this whole meeting here, the intention of this meeting is just to introduce the GPS feature in Fusion and go over some basics on how it works and then obviously use this video as a training tool online. So when we talk about GPS we need to answer a few questions. Uh, number one, why did we incorporate the GPS into Fusion? Why would we? What are the benefits for the operations and uh, and the, the customers we have? Uh, how does it work? How is it going to work? What information can we track with this feature? Uh, what's it going to look like within Fusion? And then what's the next step in in GPS with Fusion? So the first two we're going to go over uh, just on the slide and then we'll dig into Fusion. So GPS technology, uh, some of the benefits and the, the whys are it's more dependable and affordable than ever before. Uh, these units that we're using right now are under a hundred dollars each and they're a USB plug-in so you need a one of these units and a, an extension cord for a USB drive and it is dead simple. Installation takes just a few minutes and and then we can use that to collect more true information. Um, the information can be used in a highly effective manner as a training tool for both drivers and managers. This technology allows us to look into new technology and opens up a ton of opportunities in Fusion. New technology is always fun to bring in to Fusion um, or anywhere on the farm just because there there are things that are obvious when you bring these things in and some things are just they're hidden you just don't really know them until they're there so that's always exciting for everybody everyone involved for sure okay so how it works um, if you've seen our program you know the daily feed detail window all the information it tracks uh, everything that's in the load uh, all the details of deliveries and mix times and ingredients. Uh, what we're going to do with the GPS is just track that in greater detail, including speed direction coordinates of the truck within the yard. Um, and then there's, there's two main aspects of this feature. and One is the mapping, and the next is the truck activity playback. So let's let's dig in a little bit to Fusion and see see what it's going to look like there. Okay, so under Fusion Admin, we're going to go under Setup and go to GPS Mapping. We'll choose our location. So each location has one map and one map only. So if you're running multiple trucks at that location, what you're going to want to do is keep that GPS unit um, kind of standardized in your truck in relation to the chute. That's just going to give you a more accurate readout on your, on your map. So we're going to choose the Strovy Beef Incorporated. Uh, this is a previously mapped uh, location. So what you'll see here is we're on the pens tab. It'll give you all the pens at that location. And then on the top right, it'll, there'll be some drawing hints that you can fill in. And then on the bottom is going to be your, your map. Like I said, this is a previously mapped location. So uh, we've got this one dialed in pretty nice. Uh, the drawing hints are, are really important for the GPS to really get an, an accurate map and then after after the mapping's done you can always come back here and you can change the length of the pen and uh, the distance between the edge of the pen and the start of the bunk or the edge of the pen and the end of the bunk that's just going to be where your gate's placed uh, at any point you can select any of these pens. All the ones with check marks are ones that are currently mapped and you'll see that they'll turn red on the right hand side. 
but at any point if you wanted to remap pen 5 just select pen 5 come over here and hit drive bunk uh, just very very simple very user friendly if I wanted to map out R3 I would select pen R3 I would enter in all the dimensions I need and then click the drive bunk uh, it'll bring this window up as soon as you're ready and you have your your spout parked uh, right at the beginning of the bunk just like always just like you're feeding then you click the start button it'll ask you to proceed along the bunk you'll go an average of about six mile an hour which is pretty much just like you're feeding and then as soon as you're finished just stop at the end of the bunk wait for the GPS to settle and then hit the stop button and it'll process just stay put while it's processing and then it'll say uh, proceed to next pen there's also some points of interest so these these first two tabs the pens and the points of interest these are both done while you're still physically in the truck and you'll be driving around in the feed yard so these points of interest uh, we're just going to stop at the feed mill and then tell the feed truck that it's it's actually at the feed mill and then record the current position so you do that with the silage pit, the office, scale, the barn, the shop uh, anywhere that, that you want to see um, the barn, or the, sorry, the truck stopped at the base map so this is where everything's done in the office or, or it should be done in the office, it's a little more finicky, a little little more detail um, detail oriented so if you can get this done in the office it makes life much easier so here we've got some boundaries we can change the boundaries I wanted to include this roadway so I I push the boundary out on the uh, west side and then for the base map you would just select this and, and hit get map and that'll that'll just grab a map from Google Maps uh, on that quarter that you're on and then you just um, make it fit using the the working scale here so if I grab this I know it's at 172 right now so I can I can drop that base map or make it larger so you can just type in 172 and then grab it and, and and drag that wherever we need. You can see right now I'm I'm not moving just the just the base map. That's because my drag mode is on all layers instead of just the base map. So if I wanted to move just the base map, you can see the the actual mapping just stays where it is. All right, you can also rotate the map. And then you can change how how intense that that map is in relation to, or the base map in relation to the actual GPS mapping. You can also change the working scale. So you can see where where this takes a little bit of time and and. Uh, you'll just you'll want to be somewhere with with a mouse and quiet something like that uh, you can also choose previous uh, previous mappings so our very first map that we that we did up it was in a really poor poor location on the truck um, so we did a little bit of messing around. This is this is all you're all you're going to see. We only mapped out a few pens here and a few points of interest. And the GPS it wasn't settled and it wasn't in a good spot on the truck, so we had some interference. So you can see these pens are all all out of whack. Uh, next step, we mapped we mapped the the majority of the feed lot. It still wasn't wasn't nearly enough. Then we did. Uh, Canon went back and did some some programming changes. 
and he he dialed in all of these uh, these pens that are just out so we we did some did some work there and, and obviously you add a base map and it changes everything but then you start changing these the pen lengths and and making sure that your gates are are measured in properly and as soon as we get to that point then we can come we can come pretty close to pretty close to the pen close enough where the information we're after is is very attainable and then you can also add the device position so this is what I'm saying if you have multiple trucks um, we're gonna try and keep it an average of eight feet ahead of the center of the discharge chute and four and a half feet um, out to the the end of it so that just makes your makes your spout always be in the same spot basically while you're mapping or while you're watching a map regardless of the truck so that's that's pretty much mapping it at any point you can clear this mapping or or you can go back and and adjust any of these points of interest add or subtract whatever you'd like you can also do custom labels um, if you add pens they will show up here and scroll down and go ahead and, and map those whenever you want you have to map um, one point of interest or one pen in order to get a base map and and to use the GPS for things like speed and direction and whatever else so you sure don't have to do it all in one day uh, you can do it whenever you get a chance but yeah, obviously a finished map is is pretty nice to have so that's basically the mapping uh, next is going to be the the truck activity playback you'll find that again in fusion admin under utilities and then go to the truck activity playback so I imagine the majority of times that you're you're gonna want to use this it's going to be right alongside the daily feed detail window so the, the daily feed detail window you'll be looking at um, a certain day location the truck the user and then you'll be looking at some problem within one load so you'll select a load and find a problem area um, if there's a dispute between a, a feed truck driver and a pen rider or whatever saying that wrong feed was delivered or a feed truck driver and a manager or something like that you make up whatever scenario you need you need uh, you can go back and verify exactly what happened based on on your timestamp and your delivery here and just cross-reference that with uh, the same time same date same truck so if we wanted to look at um, the first couple loads. Let's just go to the first load of the day. So, K said he started in pen three. So let's just see if he goes to pen three first. So we'll select the same truck. This is from the location that has been mapped already. You can see this truck has a GPS because there's a map associated with it. It also shows the direction, speed and the scale this is exactly what the truck driver is going to see while he's sitting in the truck and then the time of day so again you can you can filter based on the truck you can backdate um, this window to go back as as long as you've had the GPS uh, so historically you can go back and double check if you're questioned on something two days later two weeks later two months later uh, you have the the ability to go back and, and verify what's been done so you'll see the time on the left hand side and then the action just to the right in this window um, all the information that's that's going to be tracked is going to be um, who's logged in and the location the truck is at the pen or ingredient that was selected uh, what the current what is the current pass ration and load on truck whether the current load on the truck is a blended load or not 
the weight on the truck as shown in the scale indicator window and what mode the scale is in and obviously if the GPS is device is connected then you'll show the speed direction and the position of the truck so there's a few different ways that you can you can view this window you can obviously just scroll down and, and find the time you're after and select on that so here it says the pen selected is pen 15 and we can try and verify that this is pen 15 um, or you can scroll up to the top and watch the entire day or you can select multiple actions and play them through um, as always our documentation button right here brings you directly to our truck activity playback documentation so through that you can you can learn anything that I've missed in this video now what we're gonna do now is we'll just put this uh, put the options on play through the next action so we're just gonna watch the truck as it as it feeds throughout the day we can change the the scale of the the window here if we wanted to and then let's speed this up um, 20 times so you see it's just clicking through here the time is clicking away on the right hand side and then the trucks position is coming up so if we pause here for a second um, you'll see the trucks taken off and right here there's an alert shown uh, over here it says case is the driver uh, the alert is shown the text on that alert says communication with the scale system has stopped um, there's no options the only button you can press is, press is OK and it took case 6.1 seconds to press OK if this text was an alert and it said the ration on the truck does not match the ra the ration of the pen selected and the options are feed anyways or cancel and the truck driver hit feed anyways and it took him half a second to hit that button you know he most likely skipped through this alert message and and just he was getting click happy and and didn't slow down and and read the message that was on the screen so we'll just watch case pull into the mill and he'll select a ration and then he'll start adding rolled grain so you can see down here the rolled grain is going up and you can see when he's when he hits the record weight button uh, we can stop on any one of these and we can see the the target and the actual so our question was where is where is case going to go first let's just skip ahead to where it says deliver load we'll see if he goes to pen 3 so this is pen 3 right here he selected pen 3 and then we'll just watch him deliver 3,000 pounds of feed so something as simple as that he's unlocking the gates first thing in the morning so he has to stop there turn around and he can continue on to pen 8 which is right there so um, that's pretty much pretty much the gist of it um, I hope I Hope I did this justice. If there's any more questions, for sure, um, all of our customers, current customers, have got my email and my phone number. If you're an interested or potential customer, uh, you can contact us at uh, sales at ssgfusion.com or just go to ssgfusion.com to check out our website. Um, there's blogs, documentation. Um, all sorts of information on the on the website and hopefully we can get another one of these videos out uh, very quickly so this is just the beginning 
Um, obviously, the the last thing we were going to talk about is the next step for GPS within Fusion. I think personally, the sky's the limit. We are currently working on what we're calling feed guard, uh, just a very simple way to to keep it um, a, a visual reminder that if you're in front of a pen of um, full feed and you have starter ration on it'll just tell you that it doesn't match I, th I think there's enough technology out there where we can we can let our imagination go and and if you're a current customer let us know just tell us tell us what you'd like to see with this or what you know we are a customer driven company um, we've got some great ideas that that have been brought forth by our by our customers and and we want to continue that um, I mean, we wouldn't sell our program if we didn't. So if you have a great idea, please uh, put it in Fusion cases. Um, send in a feature request, and, yeah, hopefully we can get something done. Thank you very much. I appreciate your time, and we will talk to you again soon.